Hi guys, I'm Christian Daku. I fly an Enzo and I really need very often to trim it. So I want to present you uh, my um, high precision and low tolerance uh, trim uh, tool. I will uh, call this from now on the Dream Trimmer. Okay, because it's uh, made uh, by me, it's designed by me, it's manufactured uh, by me. And uh, okay, so let's present it and uh, I will uh, show you everything that matters at a uh, line measuring tool because this is uh, one of a kind. Okay, so you've got uh, two rails. This rail it's, uh, uh, is the, the two lines. Uh, attachment point okay um, because of the uh, because from the previous uh, model I uh, I got the suggestion that I should make two hanging points now I have either the possibility either to 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 make uh, a one attachment point or two attachment points uh, depending what you prefer me myself I prefer one hanging point from the central because uh, uh, I don't mind changing the lines from left to right after I measure uh, one of them, okay? Another suggestion I got from uh, the pilot uh, that uh, got the first uh, edition of this uh, U2 is making an uh, elongment of this uh, aluminium plate and I didn't want to make this heavier, I wanted to make it lighter so I designed uh, this uh, plastic piece that will be mounted on the aluminium plate with these screws that will uh, be as well the spares for the mounting points here. As you can see, I made two kinds of uh, screws uh, for, the, for the mounting place of the risers. Okay? So this one is 25 millimeters long and this one is 20 millimeters long. For Nivyuk and uh, for uh, Jean uh, Boomerang, uh, this longer one is suitable for me, for Enzo, this 20 millimeters uh, screw, pipe, I don't know how to call it, mounting point, this is enough. So, let's mount it and uh, let's take another look. Why, this, why is this a very high precision tool? Because of these rollers here, which are hardened steel rollers that roll on this hardened steel bar inside of the profile. Um, these rollers and this profile is half of the, of the price of the manufacturing price of this uh, instrument. Okay? Then, another very important thing, if you can uh, take a close up here. Another very important thing is that this line from the attachment point to this uh, pulley here uh, is perfectly horizontal and uh, it should be aligned with the plate. Otherwise it will introduce uh, an angle and uh, it will be a tangent here or a cosinus, I, I think a cosinus. It will be a cosinus into the force and uh, the measurement won't be, won't be so accurate. Another very important thing is um, uh, in the manufacturer pro process is to make a, a perfectly 90 uh, degrees angle here. With this part I had a lot, uh, a lot of trouble because uh, um, directly from the factory not all the profiles are perfectly 90, uh, 90 degrees here so I had to make uh, special measures and uh, orders for this small piece here. Okay, it's small but it's very important. Okay, let's take a look again. So, there is an aluminium plate. Um, which uh, serves for a mounting point for everything. Uh, it mounts this plastic plate. Here comes the risers. Then we've got a 90 degree uh, aluminum body here, which makes uh, this projection plate 90 degrees with uh, the aluminum plate. Another very important thing is that you don't have any play here. You see, you don't have any play, and the force you need to drag this is minimum. I measured this, and is uh, and it is less than 20 grams of force. Of course, here you have 
an eccentric roller and you can adjust the drag force into the rollers. The thing is that you have to maintain a balance between uh, minimum dragging force and no play. I don't have any play here. Okay, other measurement, other uh, line measurement uh, tools have a lot of force here, especially the um, breaking, um, the drag breaking force. Um, I hope I, I say it correctly in English. It's the force that uh, uh, you have to apply to break the dragging force from zero meters per second and then, okay, into the motion. So, okay, so here comes a five kilo, kilograms uh, pretensioning uh, weight. Okay, here comes the risers. You mount the risers here. Both of them or just one of them. Then, Uh, we've got uh, this rail, which is longer than uh, last year's uh, model. Uh, now it is uh, 1.8 uh, meters long. And uh, this carrier suffered a small redesign too, because of uh, this smaller uh, uh, la laser uh, telemeters that uh, are on the market right now, and they have to fit here. Okay, so. Uh, now even the smaller ones that uh, are like uh, 95 uh, millimeters uh, fit here very easy. Okay, so let's take a closer look. What do we have here? We have a heavy-duty carrier which have uh, bigger rollers. Why do they have bigger rollers? Because uh, yeah, they have uh, they they need to be heavy-duty because uh, you apply a lot of force, pulling and pulling every time. So this must be very reliable. Then. We've got a very uh, reliable handle. This won't break, not this century anyway. Okay. Uh, after that, we've got an aluminium plate which uh, serves as uh, um, the attachment point of the line to your canopy. So here you, you put your uh, attachment point uh, of the line to the canopy and you drag, you pull and you press on the bottom. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, here we've got an eccentric as well, so we can adjust I don't like that it has a lot of play now, so I can adjust uh, the plane the play from here. okay, so now it's uh, perfect uh, here the the rollers are aligned with the guide, okay. So now, as you can see, my thumb is perfectly aligned with the bottom. Okay, a close up here. So, as you can see, I pull, I pull the line, and I press the button uh, on the on the laser. Okay, super. So, uh, this rail will be mounted at approximately five six or seven meters from the projection plate and from the risers uh, mounting plate uh, point. Uh, anyway, you can, um, you can mount it on, the, on a table if you, if you want to make uh, holes and screws into the table. We've already drilled this uh, aluminum profile, uh, so you can uh, do that uh, with these. Okay? Or, as I... Uh, you, you, can, you can follow my... Uh, my way of doing things, um, I just use uh, double tape, okay? Um, if uh, I measure my paraglider from time to time, I don't uh, need uh, and it would be difficult to make a, um, a permanent setup. So I uh, just uh, double tape it uh, on, a, on a table and uh, after I finish, I can clean uh, everything in five minutes and uh, I store this away, okay? So this is the model one. This, uh, uh, the price of the Model 1 will be uh, less than the, previous, uh, mod than the previous year. Okay, so it's improved and it's uh, less expensive. Uh, you can uh, see uh, the price um, down into the description. And uh, 
yeah, and the payment method and everything I will put into the description. Please follow the other two videos in uh, which I will present the Model 2 and the Model 3, which are cheaper but are for, let's say, another purpose. This one is for fixed setup, this is for shops, this is for, um, yeah, the guys who want uh, perfect results every time. Model 2, which I will present you later, is for um, traveling with, it weighs uh, just about uh, 700 grams um, and the Model 3 is a compromise which is uh, less pricey, let's say, okay, which is cheaper. So, thank you very much.